Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be the Make a Follower Kit tutorial and it's going to be broke up into parts in a separate playlist for everybody because the original Make a Follower Kit video was like three or four hours long and it was hard for people to comprehend so we're going to break it up into parts and make it easier to comprehend. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be making our character in Skyrim Legendary Edition. Um, as far as Special Edition goes, we're going to port that character to Special Edition. If you're playing strictly Special Edition, you cannot do this as of yet because, to my knowledge, SKSE64 is still an alpha version and race menu hasn't been imported to, hasn't been ported to Skyrim special edition yet so let's get some of the preliminary things out of the way right now okay the first thing you're gonna need is a working version of mod organizer which you can find on the Nexus and if you need a tutorial on how to install mod organizer look over on gamer poets channel Michael has an excellent tutorial on, on how to use that now you're going to want to go ahead once you get mod organizer installed you're going to want to go ahead and make a profile as you can see I have them my different profiles you're going to want to make a profile just for NPC creation and all you're going to want to do is have uh, mods loaded for your character and the mods you're going to need are a body mod, skin, hair, eyes, and brows. Now, unfortunately, uh, I use some older eyes and brows mods that were created by Jimtown Irish that aren't available on the Nexus anymore. However, I am going to leave links in the description of where you can find them if you want them, the true eyes and true brows mod. Now don't get real excited because we're not ready yet. Once you have all of your follower, once you have all of your NPC based mods installed, you're also going to need the mod Alternate Start by Arthmore. You can find that on the Nexus. What that basically does is it skips the vanilla beginning of Skyrim and puts you right in the prison and makes it very easy to do your character creation but we're still not done you're going to need some other programs your you are going to need test 5 edit as you can see I have test 5 edit right here you're gonna to wanna to get that from the Nexus that's easy to install there's also a tutorial for that over on gamer poets channel on how to install that you're also going to want NIF scope alpha 5 which you can see I have a copy of NIF scope pre alpha 5 right here uh, you go ahead and you can get that from uh, github I will put a link in the description now you are also going to need if you're going to port it to special edition you're also going to need NIF scope pre alpha 6 now with that you're gonna have to put NIF scope Pre Alpha 5 and Nifscope Pre Alpha 6 on separate drives on your computer. You can actually put like uh, Nifscope Pre Alpha 5 on a flash drive and then put Pre Alpha 6 on your computer. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as it's on separate drives. A couple of other programs that you're going to want you're going to want the BAE Extractor program which you can find on the Nexus um, you can find it on special edition Nexus and I believe you can find it on the regular Nexus as well and what this does is when you drag an archive from Skyrim or Fallout 4 into this program it opens the archive and you can extract the files from the archive to a folder anywhere you want 
Now, you're also going to need the NIF merge program, which you can find on the Nexus. You are definitely going to need that. And you're going to need, in the case of porting it to Special Edition, you're going to need the NIF, the SSE NIF Optimizer program, which you can find on the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. All of these programs are fairly easy to find and easy to install, and you can look down in the description and I'll put links to everything there. Now you're going to also want a current copy of the Legendary Edition Skyrim Creation Kit which you can get off of Steam. In the case of porting the follower from Legendary Edition to Special Edition you're going to need the Special Edition Creation Kit which you have to get off of Bethesda Net. There's other tutorials on here on YouTube showing you how to get the special edition creation kit and you want to go ahead and make sure that your legendary edition creation kit and your special edition creation kit are set up to run multiple master files now there is a tutorial right here on my channel on how to set up the Skyrim special edition creation kit to run multiple master files and there's other tutorials on YouTube on how to set up the Legendary Edition Creation Kit for to run multiple master files. Check over on Dark Fox 127's channel for that. It's probably a good idea to also have the Note Plus, Notepad Plus Plus uh, program, uh, which is free. You can find that on on the internet just Google search notepad plus plus and you can find that and that will do it for the this episode these are the preliminary programs that you're going to want to have and have installed correctly on your computer to do this tutorial okay guys thanks for watching and until next time remember to keep your sword sharp don't be a milk drinker and always watch the skies traveler